What is up, fellow nerds, and welcome back to the Dapper Snapper Gaming Channel, and welcome back to Wi-Fi Wednesday of our week of Wi-Fi. That's a lot of W's. But today we are going to be having our third Wi-Fi battle of the week, and we are going to be going up against Jay Haskell. Now, Jay Haskell has been a, uh, a viewer for a while, and we've done several battles with him on the channel before, and always uh, always puts up a really good fight. Always comes with really fun teams, creative teams, and um, it, I always uh, it, it always ends up being pretty close. So this is going to be a, a, a tough match for sure, especially considering at least tier-wise, this is probably the lowest of, of all of the teams, but I wanted to use a really interesting team at least once throughout this week that had a lot of lower tier stuff um, to complement a lot of the higher tier stuff. So today we are, this is the new dog team. I guess it could have also been new guitar with Toxtricity, but we've got Lycanroc. And so Lycanroc is our typical lead here. Um, it carries the Stealth Rock's taunt to uh, stop any other kinds of uh, shenanigans set up or um, any kind of other hazards, anything like that. Um, Acceleroc to break sashes and then counter with a focus sash in order to uh, stop any kind of like physical threats if that ever ends up happening. T typically you never get a chance to click that but if it presents itself, cool, we do it. Um, the next one is going to be our Volcarona, and Volcarona is our heavy duty boots user with Quiver Dance. This thing is a scary sweeper if you let it get set up, so don't let it get set up. Also, the uh, flame body's a thing. If you hit it, you could get burned, and that could be an that could be an issue. Um, by the way, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you are new. Uh, we have two more days worth after today of our week of Wi-Fi, and the uh, the meme meter is just going to start going up from here. Um, it's just going to get more and more meme as the week goes, and so you don't want to miss any of that. And of course, make sure to turn on notifications by clicking that bell and share. Share this video with everyone you know, because we are trying to get more and more subscribers. We just passed 200, and that's the whole reason we're doing this. And so I would love to see a lot more people watching the channel. Anyway, next is our Urshifu, and this is a Life Orb variant. Uh, we have brought a Choice Banded set already, but I thought for this team, the Life Orb is a little bit better. There's a lot of setup mods on this, on this team. And so um, I really like the bulk up variant on this. Bulk up is very strong. Uh, it's it's definitely a huge threat. And so we've got Poison Jab for things like the Clefable or any other kind of fairies. Uh, we've got Toxtricity. This is a Shift Gear mixed Toxtricity. This right now is my favorite set on Toxtricity. Um, so you've got the Shift Gear for the speed, but then you've got the attack boost to also help you with Drain Punch. Um, and Drain Punch helps you to hit things that are like Steel types, especially things like Excadrill, which definitely want to switch in on this, thinking that you're just gonna click either a Poison move, you're gonna click a Normal move, or you're gonna click an Electric move. It switches in on all those. It doesn't switch in on a Drain Punch. And so I, this is my favorite set right now for this. I think this can actually be quite threatening if left unchecked. And so I think it's a lot of fun to use. We've got a very standard Specs Kiram. We're running Timid. A lot of people run Modest on these nowadays. I like Timid to outspeed the uh, the fellow Modest users um, because these things are around now, especially since Kiram Black got banned. People are using regular Kiram in its stead. And so I like having that little bit of extra speed. And then of course, speaking of speed, Zara Aura with heavy duty boots so that we don't get affected by things like webs so that we can volt switch in and out as much as we want. So yeah, that is gonna be our team for today. Um, th this is a cool team. It it's not the strongest of teams out there, but it's a fun team, and that's what this Christmas week is all about, is fun teams, and so that's what we're doing. So, let's go ahead and jump into team preview. Here we go. So, New Dog is up against Ice Q. Now, it has been a minute since we've seen an Ice Q, um, but that actually could do decent against our team, to be honest. Um, but Volcarona is definitely a help for that. Um, so we're definitely going to want to keep that around. Um, so we're looking at possible sticky webs here as well, which could turn out to be somewhat of an issue, seeing how we don't have any kind of removal on this team. So we could be in a little bit of trouble here, actually. Um, yeah, we definitely could be in a little bit of trouble. Let's see here. I want to check a calc here. Okay, so I think we have to lead Zara Aura. Luckily, our Zara Aura is heavy duty boots, so it won't be slowed down by anything. 
Um, and Zeraora definitely looks like a big threat. Um, so I, th I think that that's going to end up being our, our win condition. So we're going to end up needing to keep that around for sure, for sure. Um, but yeah, so our, our new dog is going to hopefully be able to take a KO here with the Galvantula lead. Yeah, there's nothing I can do to stop this. Um, and that's kind of scary. That's actually rather scary. So we'll just have to figure it out, I guess. Um, but we're going to go ahead and Volt Switch out to break the Sash. And yeah, that's pretty much all we can do here. So break the Sash. And then my opponent's going to set Sticky Webs, and I'm just going to have to take it. It's really... Well, actually, I could have gone Taunt, couldn't I? I completely forgot I had Taunt on that. Are we faster than Galvantula? So, actually, we are. Hmm, that would have been better then. So we did have Counterplay. I just completely, uh, completely forgot. So, misplay on my part, turn one, could end up costing us the game. So that's uh, that's not great. So we're gonna click Accelerock here. Accelerock will take a KO here if uh, if my opponent stays in. Okay, does switch out, but I had to I had to go for it no matter what. Goes into the Ice Q actually. So this will actually break his Ice Face. Okay, this will break Ice Face. So now does my opponent go for Belly Drum? That is the question. Since we've already broken the... We've already broken its Ice Face. We could just click Counter here, actually. Is Ice Cube faster than me with its broken form? It is. Hmm. I'm gonna click Counter. Yep, does go straight for the liquidation. It actually doesn't even take me down to Sash, but we're gonna get a big counter off here, and that's just gonna take down Ice Q. So, unfortunately, the Christmas Penguin did not get to stick around, but uh, we got rid of that. That could have been a big problem. You know, sub Salic, anything like that. That could have been a problem, but uh, we did get rid of it, so that's good. But we do still have webs on our team, on our side, which is not great. It's not great at all, um, and it could have been prevented. It definitely could have been prevented. That is my bad. I should have led with this. Um, just like it's it's the game plan. This is the lead. This is the lead, and I, I didn't do it, so that's on me. So in comes Lucario. Makes sense. Can click Bullet Punch here. How important are rocks against his team? Um, They'd be really nice to have on the against the Kiram, but then again, he could just spin them away with Excadrill, so they're not really that great. They would have been great for Ice Q, um, but since we don't have Ice Q, since Ice Q's gone, it's not that big of a problem anymore. So, yeah, I think I think I just click a Celerock here, just for a little bit of chip. Yeah, expecting bullet punch. Oh, actually goes for the meter mash. Could have set rocks there. Don't get the attack race. Okay, no attack race. We're good. So that's fine. That's fine. Life orb. Okay, so probably sword stance. Could be a problem. But we're going to go Volcarona here. And I don't think that you want to stay in and risk burning yourself. So this seems like a pretty free Quiver Dance. Could go Pex here, but I'm going to go ahead and go for this anyway. If he goes Pex, I'll probably switch back out. Um, and I've shown that I'm Heavy Duty Boots as well, which is pretty obvious that I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, it goes into Pex. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. So against a Toxapex, which is obviously a very, uh, very threatening boy. If we are at plus one, plus one, plus one, we're doing um, approximately like nothing to, th to this thing with Giga Drain, but it's also Giga Drain. Um, so we could go for this again. I'm kind of fearing knockoff though, and it taking away my boots. In which case, I wouldn't be able to... 
at least it would make it a lot more difficult to sweep later when it's pretty safe to just go Toxtricity. Yeah, we're just gonna go Toxtricity here. It's safer. I, I don't wanna. I don't wanna risk anything this early. And if we get our life orb knocked off, we get our life orb knocked off. It's not that big of a problem, I guess. We can handle it. And it actually goes for Toxic, so that's fine. But Toxic is a good play. Um, so we've got the Overdrive on this. So I'm assuming you go into your. I'm gonna make a prediction. I can shift gear here. And you most likely go into extra drill, right? Yeah, predicting the uh, predicting the ground or the uh, electric type move. The question is, uh, I'm pretty sure we should be faster as long as this thing isn't scarfed, but it could be sash. And if it is, do we have a way to beat Volcarona if we lose this? Yes, we have. We have Kirim, but is it worth giving this up? I mean, ultimately we have Kirim, so I think we're fine. I'm gonna click Drain Punch. Yeah, this is a mixed one, and uh, I really like the set. I really like the mixed. Um, I really like the mixed set, carrying the Drain Punch. It's it's really cool. It's a really cool tech, and it is Sash. Makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. And I'm assuming just EQ here. Yep, EQ it is. And we are definitely not taking that. Uh, not not even close. Not even close. But like I said, as long as we keep Kyurem around, we should be fine for Pex. Um, it's not that big of a problem. Now, Volcarona is faster than... Yeah, Volcarona is faster than Excadrill. Should be by a little bit. Yeah, so we can go back into that. Yeah, Volcarona plus Zero Aura seems like quite a big threat. Um, so we're going to click Fiery Dance. It's a good move, plus it could boost our special attack. Um, obviously Giga Drain would do a little bit more to an incoming, um, an incoming Toxapex. But I think we're fine. I think we're fine doing this. I just don't want this thing to be able to set rocks for free. Um, that that would definitely become an issue very, very quickly if this thing started setting rocks. But we're going to go for the Fire Dance. Really cool animation. Does nothing. Does no damage. Does boost our special attack. So we no longer have a Toxic switch in. At least not a good one. Um... But, I mean, we do have Zero Aura, we do have this. And Zero Aura really doesn't care if it's toxic, just because it's going to be so in and out. So this is going to be our switch in this time. And then, since we are boots, we can just click Volt Switch this turn. If he switches into Excadrill, then, you know, we just click something else next turn. So it's not that big of a, a not that big of a deal, but we just need to start wearing this Toxpex down because otherwise it's going to be a big problem. So we could also click Knock Off here as a new as a in between play. I'm going to click that. So no more Black Sludge. So it does stay in actually and gives me his Black Sludge. I'm going to go ahead and go click Scald. We should take that pretty easily. We do. And then we're going to Volt Switch out here. Um, I don't want to take any more poison damage if I don't have to. And this will get some big damage off on uh, off on my opponent. So we take that. We take that. Watch my opponent now go into extra drill. If so, that'd be a really good play. Is that what you do? Wow, good play. All right. Good play. All right, all right, I see you. I see you with the plays. Wearing down my Zero Aura really quickly. Um, I need to reset my timer. Really bad. But I don't think I can do it here. Well, yeah, because otherwise he sets up rocks. 
I'm going to take the KO here. Otherwise, he sets up rocks, and I really can't afford to let him do that for Kirim. I need Kirim healthy, and it can't it can't take rocks if I'm going to be switching it in and out here in the late game. So, unfortunately, I do have to let Zero Aura get dangerously low. So, my opponent didn't click priority last time. Do you even have it? Is the question. I'm gonna go straight Volcarona. I need I need to uh, not risk that because a bullet punch would definitely KO me from that range. And I would love to have a burn on this Lucario. A burned Lucario is a great Lucario, at least to face, not to use. But I'm, I would be okay if this thing got burned. Do you have bullet punch? Extreme speed, same difference. Ow. No burn. That did a lot of damage. Wow. But now you can just go back into Tox Pex. Which is not great. Um, I'm just going to click Fiery Dance straight up. Yeah, this Tox Pex is going to be really difficult to break. And is going to end up being like the bane of my existence. Tox Pex is very difficult to deal with. Very difficult to deal with. Yeah, it switches in for free every time on this. And it's back up to full. So we do a little bit. Very little. Boost our special boost our special attack. Um I'm just gonna click Giga Drain here. I'll get a little bit of recovery. A little bit, not much. But this will help at least the first few turns. Goes ahead and goes for the Skull. Okay. Ow. That hurts. Um, I'm going to click it again. I got to get this thing low. To where its regenerator doesn't help it all that much. Yeah, I, I, have, to, I have to do this. Which I hate letting this thing get this low. I hate letting Volcarona get this low, but I have to do it in order to get rid of Tox Pex. Uh, I'm clicking this again, just in case. Please let me have Tox Pex. Please. Could go Lucario here. That wouldn't be a bad switch. Could have clicked Fiery Dance. I don't think Fiery Dance would have taken the KO here, though. So I've got to... Uh, yeah, I had to click this. Okay. Goes into Galvantula. Yeah, Fiery Dance would have been good there. We're going to get some HP back. Not nearly enough, though. Hmm. Do we go Zara Aura here? It's kind of risky. But it would it would heal us if my opponent were to click if my opponent were to click an electric move. We do still have Kiram. I'm going for it. Please click Thunder or Volt Switch. Cause if so, we might be right back in this. T Wave, that'll work. That'll work. That'll give us a little bit more longevity. Which we definitely needed. Perfect. And so your ground type is gone. So I'm free to click Volt Switch here. Yeah, I can click Volt Switch here. This should... Uh, it doesn't quite KO, unfortunately. Okay. So... Back into Volk, I guess. I want to keep... I want to keep the other two healthy. Volk already has this much damage on it. Yeah, quick Spug Buzz. That's fine. So, I'm going to click Fiery Dance here. In case he wants to click T-Wave again. I'm assuming you just click Bug Buzz here again. And that's fine. Yeah, you have to. 
perfect. Okay, so Volcarona goes down. Could have been a big threat, but just wasn't in the right position. And now we go back into Zero Aura. And then we should be able to just, we should be able to do enough. I don't know, it's awfully close. Um, I think I click knock off here. I've got to guarantee this KO. This thing's just too fast. Okay, Gavantula's gone. We're gonna take some toxic damage. Focus sack, big shock there. So, in comes Lucario, which has become a big threat. Yeah, Lucario has become kind of a massive threat. Um, obviously we have Urshifu in the back, which threatens it. Urshifu is pretty good against the rest of his team, considering how low how low Toxapex is. Urshifu might just be our our win. Um, so yeah, I think I think that we still we still have a chance. Um, you have to click Extreme Speed here. You like have to. Do I let him have this? I think so. I'm gonna click CC. Didn't click it. All right, this is gone. Okay, that... I think that might just seal the game then. Because you've got Pex, which doesn't like this, and you've got Hiram, which also does not like this. And we should live this turn of Toxic. We might even live one more, actually. So this might just be a Zero Aura sweep. Yeah, I figured Zero Aura was really, really good in this match. And we're just going to click Plasma Fists here. We're going off. We're going for it. Going for the whole thing. Yeah, this is just what I have to do. My opponent could make a cheeky switch and go into... Yeah, my opponent could have gone into the uh, Kiram there. Get more Regenerator back. And it would have been resisted on the uh, on the dragon. But goes in lets me take the KO here. And do we survive this turn? We do not. That's unfortunate, but it's all good. It's all good. Because all you have left is a Kiram in the back. Um, we have a Specs Kiram. Um, we don't have a fighting move on this. That could be an issue. I'm going to go into my Kiram first. Except here's where the webs come into play. The webs haven't caused a problem this entire set. And now, they might end up losing me the game. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm sacking this to force it to be at minus two to try to live with Urshifu. That's basically, that's basically the whole, uh, the whole idea, right? Because at minus two, it still KOs this. But against, uh, let's see. But assuming it's specs against our Urshifu, it doesn't KO. So I have to, I have to do this and hope that. Yeah, he's faster for sure. Yep, had to click that. Goes to minus two. Makes sense. And now we go Urshifu. Urshifu at minus one is slower. And so we're gonna have to take a Draco Meteor. At minus two, modest specs does not KO me. And so we click Wicked Blow, turn the first turn. Okay. Might be Specs, might be Scarfed, we don't know. We'll know by this damage, though. That is Specs. <laughs> that is definitely Specs. Oh, wow. All right, and so here is where Choice Banded would have absolutely lost us the game because that was a guaranteed, that was guaranteed to not KO there. Um, Wicked Blow, that was a really high roll, but guaranteed to not KO there. And now we click Sucker and finish the game off. Wow, very close game by my opponent. Very, very close game. Um, misplaying turn one 
and then I go down to my own life orb. Wow, look at that. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, that is pretty much the closest that you could you could win with a 0-0 zero, zero victory. That's insane. That's insane. You do not see those very often at all. So big GG to my opponent. What a game. Uh, that was that was fantastic. I'm I'm super pumped about that game. So only the best of Wi-Fi battles here on the Dapper Snapper Gaming channel. So make sure to, of course, give some love to Jay Haskell, my opponent. Um, he always does a great job when he comes on uh, comes on the channel. And I think that that was a great battle. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. So again, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And tomorrow we've got an amazing video for you. Um, tomorrow's battle you're gonna love because we 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 dial the memes up starting tomorrow. The Christmas memes are going are going nuts starting tomorrow. And uh, it's, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So you'll wanna make sure that you're around for that. Make sure to ring the bell if you haven't rung the bell right next to the subscribe button so you don't miss when I upload tomorrow. All that good stuff. Anyway, guys, stay safe out there, stay healthy, all that good stuff. We'll see you later. Bye bye.